A while back, I made a Rasengan video in Blender. To my knowledge, I was the first person to do one that looked like the anime, and it is, to this day, the most viewed video on my channel. Today, I'm going to update that video by doing it entirely in cycles. And if you've seen the old video, you already know that all the particle trails and things were done in cycles. And if you haven't seen the old video, and don't know what I have on the screen, go watch the old video. There should be a link to it in the top right. It'll explain how to do everything. Just ignore the bits where I'm working in the Blender um, internal render engine and I'm adding like a new scene and all that. Just ignore that. Just do the particle bits. Okay. Now that everybody's come back after watching the video, let's get started. Okay, your scene should look something like this. I have separated everything out. I have my particle the object that is the particles I don't know what to call it, the particle origin on one layer, I have my particles on another layer and I have just the camera on this layer but I'm gonna go to a blank layer and add in a sphere and to this sphere I'm going to give an emission material just call it emission or white or something and then give it an emission crank it up to 50 and give it a blue tint All right, now that we have that done, we're going to go into our layer editor, add in another render layer, because I found out render layers are a lot better than adding in new scenes. Adding new scenes is kind of a huge pain. But our new layer is going to be called Flare. And we're gonna to go to our original layer, and we're gonna exclude the layers that have our flare and our particle origin. And then we're gonna to go to our flare layer, and exclude everything but the flare because we just want a white dot basically in the middle well technically a blue dot in the middle okay and that's all for the 3d part now we're gonna go into compositing and create the flare so go into the compositing portion and because blender does a really good job of showing all of the values on all of the nodes I'm going to use. I'm just going to put up a screenshot of all the nodes and you can put this tree together yourself. Um, and all of the things in green just add a keyframe to by hovering your mouse over it and hitting I. Pause the video if you need to and press play when you're done. All right. Now your node tree should look something like this. And we're going to select the nodes that we have keyframes on. And it should come up down here in the graph editor. If the graph editor is not open, you can turn it on with this little button down here and just select graph editor. We're going to hover our mouse over graph editor, hit in, and I've already added noise to each of these. Now you want to add noise to each of these to give it a little more randomization in the number of streaks. We're going to add noise to all of these and you just manipulate the amplitude and the random seed to get different effects from your noise. Each of these, as you can see, has a very different pattern. This one's a little crazy. And then by the end of it, you should have something that looks like this. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next Thursday. And happy Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for everybody that has subscribed to me. I know it's not a lot of you. I know I don't have a huge following, but I still love making these tutorials, and I still love getting comments and questions and people that like it. If you hate it, let me know, and let me know why you hate it, because constructive criticism is always welcome. I can never get better if no one tells me what I'm doing wrong. So, once again, thank you guys, and I'll see you next Thursday.